Hi, this is Richard Shaw from Cradle of Filth, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Cradle of Filth. Hello! Um, hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very good. Very Thank good. you so much for chatting with us today. Not a problem. So you, you actually kicked off this massive North American tour at the end of January. Mm -hmm. How are you enjoying your time? How have these shows been? I'm loving it. The, the band as a whole, we're, we're loving every city we're playing, everywhere's packed. Uh, the venues are amazing, L wonderful, wonderful people that we're meeting. It's just been an incredible tour. You're known to have these insane mosh pits at your shows. Quite a few ball of deaths happening once in a while. Quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> when you're on stage performing, what's running through your mind when you see people just going and losing their shit to your music? Um, pretty much that. Pretty, uh, holy shit! What the hell? Like, especially, <laughs> especially when you don't have to get them to do anything. When they just yeah, they're just so taken in the music that they just go for it. You don't have to get them to do anything. You don't like have that. to say, okay, time to form no, something. Exactly. I'm that guy in the band who's like, between me and Danny, we're the guys going, come on, like, let's let's see some action. Obviously, I'm playing guitar at the time, so I can't do it with my mouth. I'm just like, like <laughs> make them do a bit. But it's when we do it without you saying something that you know it's going to be a pretty insane show. And we've had quite a lot of them on this tour. Have you seen something that's really shocked you that the crowd has done, or a specific fan has done in the audience? Uh, not on this tour, but I've seen a guy in a wheelchair being hauled over Surfing? the crowd. Surfing? Wow. Surfing on a wheelchair. That was pretty insane. Is that the first time you saw that? Um, yeah, I think it's the only time I've actually seen wow. that. I've seen it happen at other band's gigs, but uh, we, we had it happen a couple of times on me. Cradle first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on this tour, you're bringing along the awesome folks of Butcher Babies. Mm -hmm. I know they have a massive love of horror films, mm -hmm. as does your band. Yep. Have you bonded over that together? You, you know what? We haven't really spoken much about really? like, horror stuff, which is surprising because <laughs> we, we're, we're all such big fans, but it's the thing we haven't really talked about the most. We're, I mean, we've gone on a lot of nights out with them and we've talk music, we talk, yeah. we talk about all sorts, but for some reason, me personally, I've not had a chat with them about horror films yet. That surprises me. We've got a few shows left, so I'm going to bring it up. So I'm glad you told me that, I'm going to bring it up. Yeah, I'm like, there you hey, go. You guys are big horror fans, why haven't you told me that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'll, I'll ask them when I see them later. What's one of your favourite horror films? My favourite horror yeah. films? Uh, my all time favourite, but I had to make sure I had to watch before I came on tour, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to watch it, was The Exorcist. Okay, it's, it's still, a classic. It is a classic, but it's still, still was, the horror film for me that gives me the creeps. I, I, I remember I saw it when I was seven years old. I stayed up really, really late. My mum and dad didn't know about it, and it was on TV, and I was like, I'm going to watch The Exorcist, and it's kind of stuck with me ever since. And uh, for that reason, it's just one of my favourites. Do you have a favourite horror villain? Horror villain? <sighs> see, see, <I'm>, <laughs> see, Dracula, to me, does he count as a villain, really? Yeah. It's the whole tortured soul thing. I'd I say know. so. But, but I don't know if it's some kind of affinity with Dracula. It's, he always seems a little bit, you know, like he wants more out of life, you know what I mean, more than what he is. And so I, I don't know, I, mean, I suppose he's a villain of sorts, but I don't see him as a villain. Just misunderstood. Yeah, <laughs> Dracula's just misunderstood, just misunderstood, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> But he's got away with the ladies as well, which I'm kind of yes. obvious with. Well, because he can do that whole spell trance thing exactly. on Exactly. Right? I could do with that, you know? Yeah? I could help, yeah. So if you could, I guess if you, could, if you could have your own superpower, adapt something from a horror that, character, that would, that would be so, it. So anything that Dracula can do, <laughs> like, pretty much, that's what I would like, yeah. And now you're touring in support of Hammer of the Witches. Yep. This album is fantastic. Um, Thank you. Which song right now are you just absolutely loving performing? Oh, from a new album? Yes. Oh, yeah, from a new album. I, um, for me personally, uh, Blackest Magic in Practice from New Album, because that's the one uh, of the ones we're playing live, that one one I wrote. I wrote three songs for the album, or brought the music forward for three songs that made the album. Blackest Magic in Practice seems to be the one that's really hitting home with a lot of people. And just remembering that I wrote that in like my living room back home in the UK, and, like, and we come out and s see people sing along to it, even mouthing along to the guitar riffs and yeah. guitar solos, that's just, for me as a guitarist going, that's, that's pretty insane, so there's, there's a lot of me that goes into that one when we play live, and it's good to see when the crowd reacts to that one. Where did the band's love of vampires and witches and uh, all these fable type things initially start? I have no idea, <laughs> I'm assuming it all started with Danny, like obviously Danny being be, be, the original guy left. It's it's been his vision all the time, like to incorporate his, the things from his favorite metal bands, but also from like horror movies, soundtracks, and the imagery that goes with it. And he's just got a deep, deep love of the stuff. And luckily, he seems to have found people in the band, especially now, who, who have a mutual love of horror and literature as well. So 
long may it continue and it will be a continuing thread for our music forever I'm, I'm sure well I have this bunch of witchcraft which I've had for about 10 years and I've just been fascinated with it yeah. and this really reminded me the album it's almost like a book of spells each lyric you uncover it's like you're telling a story within everything was that kind of the intent having each song represent almost like a mini novel or a chapter of something well it was one of those things when we, when we first originally started it was just a case of let's just write some good riffs some good songs let's just see what happens musically and then once once Danny's got a real good feel for it musically and he's happy with it he's like he gets locked in his cave wherever yeah. he is and like we leave him for a few months and then he comes out with all these lyrics um, so we never actually sat and discussed like oh this is going to be the theme but it's he it, it kept us in the loop going you know what I've got a few songs that I've, that I've kind of got this thing with it's going to be usually based on this and then before we know it it, beca it became right we yeah. call it Hammer of the Witches and run off with it so that was very late in the day that the the rest was kind of new lyrically what he was going on it's about. very new mm -hmm. outside of music for you and the performances that we know could have filled for what do you do when you have some downtime when I have downtime I still teach guitar back home oh, wow. I, 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 I still love playing guitar all the time I, I teach when I'm back home got a lot of students I teach I'm in a couple of other bands so I'm busy with that yeah. uh, and I'm always on Netflix which is many films <laughs> as possible as well so and, and, and also catching up with friends and family is the most important thing really I've, I mean it's Mother's Day today back home in the UK so I've video call my mom so it's just nice to catch up with those guys because before I know it I'm back out on tour again yeah, doing, of doing what I love is, which is great but yeah you miss family you miss friends what's your favorite thing to binge watch on Netflix oh right well <laughs> It's pretty much any any series. I'm big into the whole Marvel thing, so I was binging oh, awesome. on like Jessica, Jessica Jones before I came out. I just finished the first season of uh, Bates Motel. Oh, so I haven't seen that yet. It, it, it's brilliant. It, you, so definitely first, like a must yeah, watch. The first, okay. first episode was like, oh, this is a bit slow going, and then right at the end of the first episode, it's like, whoa! <laughs> kind of like the same with Jessica Jones, that was a similar thing. Okay. But uh, So I've got the second season of that. I think the third season's come on in the UK as well, so I'm going to binge watch that in the first yeah. couple of days when I'm back home. Awesome, I'm going to check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just to wrap things up today, anything you want to say to all the Cradle of Filth fans who are going to be watching our interview? Um, well, what can I say, really? Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Because without you guys, we don't get to do what we do for a living. We are very, very lucky. We get to tour the world. Anywhere we go in the world, we seem to have this very receptive fan base. And we cannot thank you enough for giving us this lifestyle. And long may we continue to write some amazing albums for you and uh, keep supporting us and we'll keep supporting you. Awesome. Just thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time.